Good morning, guys. It is early, very early, uh, like 5.30. I'm just getting ready uh, because it is Saturday. It is Toy Con, New Jersey. First time ever going. So I am, I'm very happy to finally be able to attend this uh, event because a lot of people talk good things about it, especially with the Four Horsemen being there. Um, but I am gonna be looking out for quite a bit of stuff, uh, mostly Marvel Legends, uh, probably loose, because I'm gonna just try to find a lot of loose figures. Um, at the same time, so hyped on Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse that I am looking to see if I can find any Sentinel figures, whether it be Peter B. Parker, Miles Morales, um, We'll see. We will see what happens. Um, I'm meeting up with NJ Tree because it, it, it's our thing now, right? And we were going to go meet up at uh, the toy show, stand in line for God knows how long because we will be there real early. I'll probably be there around like 6 a.m., 6 a.m., 6.30, something like that. I was, it's just wild, right? Um, so uh, I'm just getting ready. I got, I got my bag all set up. We're, yeah, we'll be headed out there. So I will see you when I get there. I don't know what kind of intro I have, but this will probably be the intro, but it's it's early, but I, I will see you over there. The toad is saying, buy me, man. I'm going earlier. You have good taste. Well, friend is already saying they're only 40, so I think end of the day, I gotta buy another. No one's buying it? I'm not able to. As much as I want to, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> oh. Hedgehog. Look at that. Wave. You know if you get hungry. There you go. Crazy. Yay! 13 bucks. <laughs>
not be there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking. Oh. It's a bootleg. It's a bootleg. Oh, damn. <laughs> Scorpion. Oh man, that Spider Man 2099 is 40 bucks. First time seeing these. That's awesome. Razor Crest. Look at this man. Look. Whatever I message you guys and say like, hey, I can't find it, you guys find it and then I'll find it. Woo! That. Haven't seen these guys before. Look at these. I might do, what the hell? 15 missing the arm? I think probably somebody has that arm. Oh uh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That's a build a figure too. Oh, this is the select. Oh yeah. I might get this. That's not bad. Wow. Good lord. Is that a yellow jacket? <laughs> Gwen without accessories. Medusa. The, the build a figure Thanos. Oh wow, okay. With wings. Oh yeah. That's the old one. That is the one this is. That's the one that came with the wings, I think. But that's a that's a right. Unbelievable. On clearance yet? I only found it once. I was just looking. I was like, it's not on clearance yet. Grisha for 75. Look at that. That's Mezco. The three pack. Oh, all right. This is the three pack one. 
That's loose. This is this is why uh, the ghost of Kurosawa figures. Mod. Look at that. Wow. That's why you come to the shows. I know. Screw myself over. That's awesome. Down. Look at that. <laughs> oh, look, there's new Ultron. Ant Man. Baby. There's Beast.
That's right. Did you see Trevor? Stefan's here too. Look at this. Yeah. I think a lot of people are afraid to get stickers. We're going to get good up Look at this. Tempting. With the flex resin? Yeah. Wow. More loose figures. Yes. And the instructions. <laughs> saw this like once oh, really? yep these guys i see all the time yeah. Yeah. that San Diego that's what it is wow yeah it opens up so what's up guys how are you oh my god what an incredible show toy con new jersey my very first time going to the show I have I had many opportunities throughout the years to go, but unfortunately it was one of those things that I just couldn't get into the schedule. Uh, but finally going to this one, and for anyone that's watching, for anyone that has been going to the show over and over again, whether it be this location, this Parsippany location, or the Wayne location, let me know how like the differences between the two or how they've been over the past few years because for me this one was incredible this one was really awesome uh the vendors were incredible in the way they uh, the way i could just easily go up to them talk to them and just just talk about anything it's uh, it was awesome i loved it i absolutely loved it we we're all there for the main reason of this collecting habit that we have and it was just uh, it was one of those experiences that you you knew was going to happen when you got there and i i was just happy it was just incredibly happy uh thank you to nj tree um who was there with me from the beginning of the morning of around what, what was it like 6 30. uh we had a great great time we hung out 
throughout the entire day all the way till like what was it like three o'clock i would say 3 30 um ran into so many so many of our friends which was probably the best part of going to the show this was in new jersey this was in north jersey so there's a, a huge group of us whether it be instagrammers youtubers or just you know plain old collectors it doesn't have you don't have to have any type of influential type of status but man i just seeing so many different people um and uh, of course people that uh came up to me just to say hi to get a selfie letting me know that they enjoy my channel ah uh, that's extremely humbling and i appreciate everyone that came up to me it was awesome of you to say that and thank you so much for saying hi and i hope you got one of these stickers that i gave out to you if you didn't i ap truly apologize if i missed out on giving you a sticker because i was i that was kind of like a goal of mine if you came up to me i was going to give you a sticker so thank you uh leave a comment below if you did meet up with me uh i would love to hear from you again but guys uh this was really really awesome the video honestly i was so all over the place so i apologize if there was really no rhyme or reason or organization to it it was just table after table after table just seeing all the crazy stuff that people had to offer unbelievable really really cool thank you to toycon new jersey for having this show every year this is a great show and i can't wait to do it again whether it be this fall because they will have another one this fall i think it's in december honestly so this winter um, but every year i expect to do this type of show again so what did I get? As you guys know, Four Horsemen was there. They're always there. Um, and that was the main reason of going as early as 6 a.m., 6.30. Because when you line up at that time, majority of the people that line up are Mythic Legion collectors. So I wanted to be one of the first so that way I can, you know, look at the offerings of Mythic Legions. So I did pick up some stuff. So uh, I was there to also help out other people like Josh and Cincy. So let me show you what I got because there was, I, I, I went ham <laughs> on a lot of Marvel Legends loose figures. So I was digging around so many bins. It's, it was crazy. So let's start Mythic Legion. First off, two pack, Aerithir two pack. Good Lord. Uh, this is for Josh. So um, he is back into the mythic legions game so i was willing to help him out with this one uh and i think i got something else yep this is the one got this one sir gerard right there he wanted the sir gerard figure so um just to preface the reason why i do most of my mythic legion shopping is because at toy shows is because you get them at their like cheapest price right so Figures like this, you'll see on retail, uh, e online retails for like 50 bucks. They were $40 at the show, you know? So, um, Athon, Athon, uh, right there. That's how it's uh, spelled out. This one's for Cincy. Cincy already has air there. He needed the horse. What a deal he got on this horse, 60 bucks on this one. So there you go, Cincy. What did I get? I got a troop builder. Uh, legion builder right here the skeleton legion builder uh this these were 30 dollars because the builders are cheaper they are 30 dollars. they have less paint but they got all the cool accessories to do so so there is that and they had uh what was it the decay i forgot was it the decay wave or series they had hagnon so i picked up hagnon right here the translucent skeleton figure this is cool as hell <laughs> it's really cool so I picked up Hagnon for myself to add to uh, wherever my yep, they're down here. They're down here somewhere. So this is my legions right there. And the rest, legends, Marvel Legends. I <laughs> NJ trained me, we were going back and forth because I was so on the fence of buying a Mafex, uh Miles Morales, um, also all these other SH figure art stuff, but I, I couldn't bring myself to spending the money. Here's the thing, there's also the, t the problem of, you know, if vendors accept credit or PayPal or Venmo or Cash App or stuff like that. We know cash is king at these shows, but you know, credit, I have a lot of credit. <laughs> I could use my card if I wanted to. So. I was able to use, uh, I, I did use cash, of course, uh, but Marvel Legends was majority of my purchasing for the show. 
And the first, one of the big ones, my God, I finally got the blob, holy crap. And the vendor was selling it for 50 bucks. That's awesome. That's $10, $8 less than the retail price of this thing. So extremely, extremely happy to finally add blob to the collection because at a discounted price too, hell yes. Hell yes, I'm so happy with this. So that's incredible. There's the blob. I, I know probably a lot of you guys for uh, uh, Legends collectors have this, but I did not, so awesome. And how about Rogue? We got Rogue, yes, good Lord. Um, I paid the retail price, 25 bucks. Um, I think this was the only vendor that actually had this figure. So uh, I was, you know what, so I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm definitely getting it. It was right there in front of me. J. Scott Campbell art right there on the side. Really cool. So there we go. We got Rogue. Very happy to have this version of Rogue. Um, it's nice. It's really nice. So uh, let me know what you guys think of it. And loose figures. Ton of loose figures. You guys saw me digging through boxes through all this, the bins and stuff like that. Um, I did pick up uh, from a vendor, uh, Go Figure Go. Go check out his Instagram right here. Um, but he had some uh, Marvel Legends loose figures uh, to go through. And I did pick up some female figures that I haven't had before. So we got some Spider-Girl figures right here. Got those two. $10 each, not too bad. It's it's complete because they came, came with no accessories as typical with Marvel Legends. But to add these to the Spider-Man shelf over there, that's really nice. Found Shang-Chi. Oh my god. Complete too. Look at this. It's got... All the hands, his two weapons, that's it's really cool. Oh, so glad to have this back in the collection because I sold off the wave when I originally had it. Um, but this was 10 bucks. Another Spider-Man, look at this, $10 right there. House of M Spider-Man, another one to add to the shelf again. Once again, I used to have these figures, um, but I sold off a lot of Marvel Legends in the past. But this is still pretty cool. To have the house of m spider-man right there found wasp for five bucks look at that wings and all really nice to see got wasp right there look at this guy 25 bucks for the build a figure very nice to add to the uh cosmic shelf that we got going on right here so uh this one man i sold off this wave a long time ago because it was the captain marvel wave um, so now picking up the pieces of the comic characters from this wave, very, very nice to finally bring him back in and just put him right there with the Cosmics, you know? And another one to add to the Cosmics, look at this, I found Gamora from the like exclusive, I think it was the Amazon exclusive five pack. Oh my God. I guess how this was 25 bucks. I don't mind that, you know why? Because this is a harder figure to find. You will never see this figure. I highly doubt we'll see a Gamora like this again. It's complete. It's got the extra head, the plastic cape, the sword, and of course the soft goods cape that came with it, right? This was the Moonstone body. This is awesome. I'm so happy that I found this Gamora just in the bins and found her. So awesome to have in the collection put it right with the cosmics as well so that's really really great and we visited damien d blake makes if you don't know please check out his uh instagram you can check out all of his amazing amazing content with uh making his uh sign so here is uh here is that right there if you want to check that out but i did get some webbing some like venom tendrils right here some symbiote tendrils that i will utilize for whether spider-man or venom so this is really cool at the same time i get to more much more like identify my shelves with this wonderful marvel legends sign look at that that is amazing please go check out his work this is incredible work by him but this is something i always wanted for my shelf and i'm so happy to finally have something like this and one last thing, uh, I did pick up from Go Figure Go, uh, once again, uh, aside from the loose figures that he had, uh, Bryn uh, was there who was selling some like custom custom head head sculpts. And this one was, this one really stood out to me and I was very 
<laughs> very interested in buying but there's a couple things in here let me just kind of show show this off to you um and he, he threw in something else too so he threw in this you guys know what this is the, ah man let me see if i can kind of hold that up for you without me kind of there there we go there you go look what he got me he, he threw that in for me but what i really what i really picked up was this check this out it's a nice little tv monitor right tv monitor uh there's a sponge piece in the inside uh because you can actually have these plastic screens to go over on the monitor and there's also some decals that he provided for those screens but not only that not only that uh the screens have a light up feature on the back of it so uh let me just kind of show you what i'm talking about so there's the light so once i get one of those screens on there you could just plop it on uh a head <laughs> and then you can easily have this tv head of a character uh, i'll play around with this more on a live stream but i will definitely show you guys later for that but that's really awesome so that's that's the haul i'm pretty sure that's everything because that was quite a bit but guys this was fun this was a lot of fun i love digging through bins this was an amazing experience for a toy show and i hope you guys have similar shows like this that you can go and visit and have fun with as well but guys thank you so much for watching the video i greatly appreciate greatly appreciate your time in doing so but let the like comment subscribe hope to see you soon and i hope to see you on the next time